to say? What's your name? Maya jo- I'm Maya Georgievich from Belgium. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> no, nah, you got to slow down. Go, come here. Come right here. Maya Georgievich from Belgrade, Serbia. Beautiful. Welcome to Sculpture Studios. In this project, we're going to be collaborating with artist Maya Georgievich from Belgrade, Serbia, creating a piece of sculpture based on her original artwork. We're following the adventures of Naked White Girl, that's literally her name, or lack of name, as she's caught in yet another wacky situation. Maya's artwork, stylistically founded on MS Paint and being brought into the 3D world in various mediums, is now being created on a large scale. Our clients, Lee Baker and Annie Lomax from Produce UK, have commissioned this project as a piece of skip art. Along with two other artists, Maya has been chosen to create a concept that will be displayed in Selfridges in London for a week up until the 17th of March 2019. We're lucky enough to be a part of this, bringing her design to life. The skip is to look as though it's full of a delicious dessert, topped with a cherry, and naked white girl looking as shocked as ever. For this we're having a full size skip delivered to the studio, and we'll begin cladding the top with polystyrene. It's helpful to have 3D renders of the design so we can look at the concept from all sides, and short of having an actual model in front of us, this is the best sort of reference that we can use. So here we are with a full size skip in the workshop. We're keeping the concept pinned on the side so that we know what we're making every step of the way. And the idea is that this is just going to be a top cap, so it can come off for transportation, because the character sitting on the cherry is going to be quite high. And to conform with the street regulations, this can't go over the side and run down, as this can only be as wide as the skip is wide. And Aiden and Jess are just blocking out the top cap. Once this is all put together using our PU expanding foam, Aiden and Jess will go on with hot wires, nail brushes, wire brushes, and start carving the shape to look like the concept images the client sent us. Here he is. Don't make it look like garbage though, Aiden, you know what I mean? Oh no. It's gonna be like cream of a job. Yeah, I might skip that joke. Ah. Oh, it was rubbish, wasn't it? Yeah. You might recycle some of the old jokes though. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Crap joke. <laughs> Going to work with the usual hot wires, nail brushes and wire brushes, the polystyrene is taken away. This is one of Aidan's favourite parts of the process of any job, and what he enjoys working on most in the studio. So I'm going to leave you to watch this creation piece by piece come into fruition. Fruition like fruit because it's a cherry and a fruit flavoured... no, okay. A couple of bits on there. Covered up. The woman on there was naked, but now they've covered up all the little uh, naughty bits with uh, cream or blancmange, whatever this happens to be, to make it more decent to go in the public domain. One thing I will say, uh, a process we often use when we're on a tight deadline is to replicate and clone yourself. You get loads more work done because there's more than one of you, and I'm not really sure why other companies don't utilise this that much. Once Aiden's happy with the form, the surface is sanded down to help lose that polystyrene bead texture. Maya is going to be on the way to the studio shortly to confirm the master carving designs, and after going through everything thoroughly with her, we've confirmed that this is in fact ice cream and not yoghurt. It's definitely not strawberry, as Maya hates strawberries just like me. I don't mean like me, like she hates me, I mean I hate strawberries in the same way. Oh man, what is happening today? It's raspberry. At the end of the day, it's raspberry. In the meantime, Aiden's cracking on, creating the sitting figure of naked white girl to go on top of the cherry. 
We've gone over the rest of the form with our usual sticky back tin foil, secretly sourced of course, and this provides a protective barrier between the resin that's going on top and the polystyrene foam underneath. Speaking to the transportation team, the best option for this is for the main bulk of the sculpture to stay sitting on top of the skip. This way only the girl on top of the cherry is going to be removable from the job, and this means we need to install a tube on the underside of the figure. Well, that was a polite way of putting it. This needs to be long enough to provide enough support, but not too long that this can't be lifted and installed with a relatively low ceiling, as we don't know what the ceiling height's going to be at the other end. Oh, here we go, you know what time it is. It's time for a visit from Serbia. Maya's come down to the studio while she's been visiting London and popped in for a coffee to talk through the project. As this is going to be inside, this needs to be Class O fire rated resin and this will be what's known as a blanket coat over the top as opposed to creating a mould. But before we begin any of these processes, we always confirm the shape with the client. The main feature of the installation for Maya is Naked White Girl herself, so a few tweaks are in order just to ensure that we really get this right. Though the MS paint creations themselves look frantic to the outside eye, this character is obviously a very specific look. Extra details like the added ice cream on the lady's naughty bits and how this should look has also been discussed, and the possibility of sprinkles to go on top of the dessert. We said we'll do a little R&D of the best way to create these sprinkles in 3D and how they can be applied with a very tight deadline, or whether we should stick with the 2D route and stay in keeping with Maya's paint style. through the process you're going through at the moment, Liam? Uh, well, I've got this yellow paint and I'm painting the skip yellow so that it's a different yellow from what it was. It's now this yellow. Thank you very much. You. Carry on. Now, not just because Maya couldn't get enough of the studio and our charisma and natural flair for life, she's wanted to be more hands-on with the project and contribute to the build of the sculpture too. She's returned to the studio now that everything's had a blanket coat of glass fibre and a flow coat of resin to work on the features of Naked White Girl and to add her own finishing touches. Uh, well, this is what she's told us anyway. She also said she's a big fan of the YouTube channel, so we think she might just sneakily be trying to get onto the next project video. Who knows? What are you doing there, Kieran? Oh, you know, just to uh, take out the trash. Taking out the trash. <laughs> What's that? We're cleaning the inside of the skip. Yeah, because it's important to keep your bins clean as well. Keep your bins clean. We weren't provided with a clean skip, and now apparently they might want the inside for people to get in. Just to scrape out this concrete of all things. Right, and here we have Aiden finishing up the spraying for today. The client's opted to go for a more car body finish, so you get that high gloss shine. We're going on with a gloss lacquer anyway, but this uh, just completes the look a lot better than just a, a gel coat, which we originally quoted for. So, we've quoted more, we've worked on it much more, and, uh, and this is the finish so far. There's still going to need to be a bit of work to do on the reverse side of the woman, and the reverse side of the sculpture tomorrow. So hopefully the weather's nice so we can get that outside once again. There you go, Maya. Oh, thank you. There we are. Yeah, now you carry on putting some more of these on. Yeah. 
We're going on with two K car body paints for a really strong finish and a really strong colour. This is suitable for indoor and outdoor use, but mainly it can resist wandering hands of the public just that little bit more than regular acrylics or emulsions. For the sprinkles, we did numerous test samples of how these can be made. The silicon mould there with the fast cast plastic. We realised we would need to work out a way of screwing or fixing these to the job, and we simply didn't have enough time to go down that route. And the most important thing is not to miss the deadline and let the client down in any way. We also experimented with piping the sprinkles onto the job with a resin mix and a piping bag, like you would decorate a cake, but Maya in the end preferred the idea of being able to paint these on herself as a real grand finale. And this worked out well for everyone, as it saved on any 3D work causing any delays. With the final touches now being applied, it was time for a little photo shoot and some finished shots in the studio, so here we have Maya Djordjevic exhibiting the art herself in Sculpture Studios. <laughs> One of the things we hope comes across in our videos and the way we work is that we love what we do. It's fantastic to work with an artist that feels the same way, and it's great having someone that wants to be as involved with the project as much as possible, so thank you Maya for contributing in the way you have. Oh hey, it's all gone, it's out of the studio, how did it go? It went really, really well, it's been nice to work with Maya, and I look forward to seeing the installation in Selfridges in London. Good luck Maya. So, this installation is called Nothing to Wear Again, and is exhibited as part of a London display in Selfridges. As one of three pieces of skip art, this is only on display until the 17th of March 2019. We'd like to thank Lee and Anne from Produce UK for approaching us with the work, and of course to Maya Djordjevic for a fantastic concept, the contribution at the studio, and an enjoyable process all round. We look forward to any, and hopefully many more projects to come. Please feel free to leave any comments below, as they're always appreciated, and hit the subscribe button for our latest videos. You can like Sculpture Studios on Facebook, and follow at Aidan Hines on Twitter, and for more of our work, visit sculpturestudios.co.uk. Thank you very much for watching.